Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca, and we're here to tell you about the cruise ships we would like to cruise on. Yes. Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here and you enjoy cruising, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of our content. This is week five of Norwegian Cruise Lines, Norwegian's Summer Fridays. It's a giveaway contest that they're having for 14 weeks in a row to celebrate summer where they're giving away a free cruise and all you have to do is participate in one of their social media challenges. That's correct. Each week they have a challenge. It might be, last week it was post your favorite drink on your social media and use the hashtag to get entered in. And what we've been doing at La Lita Loca is we've been mirroring these giveaways. And instead of giving away a whole cruise, it would be nice if we could give away 14 cruises. Yeah, it would be. But instead of giving away a whole cruise, we're giving away a free cruise t-shirt. That's right. So we're doing our contest basically the same way. Whatever the criteria that Norwegian posts, that is the same criteria for us. You just use a different hashtag. Our hashtag is Loka Summer Fridays. Mm -hmm. And you can use the same picture. Now, this one's a little tricky. If you're posting a picture that's not a Norwegian ship, I wouldn't use the Norwegian hashtag. Mm -hmm. So for Norwegian's contest, they want you to pick a Norwegian ship. So for us it's probably easier if you just pick a Norwegian ship and then add our hashtag to it'll get you entered in into the t-shirt giveaway yeah so we're gonna tell you who won last week's t-shirt but before we do that we're going to do our own little version of what cruise ships that we want to go on I have five Jenny has five and we're gonna tell you the cruise ships that we would like to sail on and just a little bit of why and then we're gonna come back and tell you who won last week's t-shirt. Jenny, do you want to share your list with the people? Absolutely. So my first cruise ship that I want to get on, Tony, yes. and family, yes. is the Carnival Mardi Gras. The Carnival Mardi Gras. What is, what is motivating you to go on the Carnival Mardi Gras? Well, first of all, we are actually booked for the Mardi Gras. Wait, is it Mardi Gras or Mardi Gras? I call it Mardi Gras. I call it Mardi Gras too. I just was putting that out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to go on it because we're booked on it? Well, that's why I'm super excited about it. <laughs> is that we're actually booked to go on it um, September 24th, right? September 24th, 2020, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Out of New York City. Out of New York City. We're going up to Canada and oh, it's going to be so much fun. Um, but I'm super excited to get on this one because it's going to be the first Carnival Mega Ship. Mega. Mega. The XL class. <laughs> That's right. And they're going to have the different, um, what are they calling them? Zones. They're having different zones. They're having a roller coaster. I'm super excited to um, see how the rooms may differ. and Because there's a lot of different categories on, on this ship. So, I mean, this one I'm probably the most excited about because we're actually booked. Okay. So Carnival Mardi Gras. Let's let's one. book these next ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I can get excited, even more excited about those. What's, what's number two on your list? Number two on my list is a Viking longboat. Oh. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they are river cruise ships, and they have maybe like ninety-five passengers on it. It's very small. Most of them do not have pools, um, so I feel like it would just be very um, elegant and quaint and um, you, you just r flow through the river and, and get to see all these small river towns. Now Jenny, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think that the Viking river boats have casinos. They do not. And um, you know, mm. that's one of the reasons why <laughs> we do not want to go on um, a Disney cruise. Oh, just I want to go on Disney. Well, guess don't what? Be mal don't be mean to the mouse. Disney's on my list. What? It is. Oh my. Okay. I actually have two cruise ships on my list that don't have casinos. Wow. Do you have a I know. Oh. <laughs> All right. What's your number three ship? Viking longboat number two, number three. Yes. Um, and Viking the longboat is because of the destinations and and just the elegancy, right? The style of cruising. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. different. Um. So, are we ready? Oh, oh yeah. My number three is Disney. I don't Any care. Of them? 
I don't care what ship it is. Because you want to go look at Star Wars and comic book stuff? Yes. No. no. But they do have, they have a new one coming out 2021, which is our 50th birthday year. Yeah. Because um, that's what we're going to do 2021. We're going to party all year long. We're going to cruise all year long. <laughs> we are. Um, I can't argue with that. Right? But I think Disney, and yes, Disney doesn't have a casino either. But you know what? When I get on a ship, I want people to clap. I want them to welcome us. And you know what? When you're at Disney itself, on like Disneyland, Disney World, you just feel like a kid. You're just excited to be there. It's the happiest place on earth. It really is. And you know what? I want to be on the happiest place at sea. Plus, you get to wear ears. Yeah. All right. Disney, what's another cruise ship that you want to go on? I want to go on the Royal Symphony of the Seas. Why do you want to go on Royal Symphony of the Seas? Well, first of all, I love the Oasis. I love the Oasis class, then I would suppose. And right now, Symphony of the Seas is the newest Oasis class out on the ocean. And, and I want to see the difference. I want to see how they can even make the Oasis class any better. Nice. Yeah. And what's number five on your list? Number five, Tony and family, is the Celebrity Edge. Celebrity Edge. Yeah, I love the fact of the infinite um, Veranda? verandas yeah. and, and the magic carpets. I love the fact that Nate Berkus was the designer for all these Edge class ships. Um, you know. That ship is impressive looking is. from a design perspective. The way the hull is painted and kind of the way that it's contoured. Mm -hmm. It's a cool looking ship. Yeah. So, Tony, why don't you tell us what ships you have on your list all right did any of them match up that's the question they did good they did which ships uh let's see we've got two matches i think good two matches which which two do you think um i'm gonna think mardi gras and probably symphony of the seas are you looking at my list no but from my list i don't think you would have picked any of these <laughs> That's how well Jenny knows me. All right, so let's start it off. I'm going to start off with uh, Virgin Voyage's Scarlet Lady. Oh, yes. I want to go on the Scarlet Lady because it is a... I really feel like Sir Richard Branson, who's never been on a cruise, because he's never been on a cruise, he's taking an approach that could be disruptive to cruising. Uh, it's an adults-only cruise, and while I love children, the idea of having an adults-only cruise sounds a lot of fun. I like the fact that they're trying to make everything as inclusive as possible. So you get some free Wi-Fi, you get free alcoholic beverages to a certain level. Uh, the food is supposed to be phenomenal. And it sounds like a pretty interesting ship with some of the clubs and those kind of things. Some of the music venues. Mm -hmm. uh, just so, because I think it's going to be such a different cruising experience from what we've experienced so far. I would like to go on the Scarlet Lady. And that's another beautiful looking ship. The it design is. on that ship is crazy. Yes, very beautiful. Beautiful. Like a lady. Like a lady. Number two for me, it, it's still on my list. It's the NCL Bliss. Oh, yes. We have never been on an NCL ship, and I can't think of a, a more appealing one than the Bliss. Uh, primarily because it has... Look, I know I shouldn't be a single-issue cruiser, but I am still fascinated by the fact that they have the Cavern, which is a replica of the Hamburg, Germany club that the Beatles started in and they have an imitation uh, of, of they have a Beatles tribute band I guess is the best way to say it it sounds fascinating to me and then uh, of course we've seen video of the observation deck mm -hmm. electronic go-karts there's so many cool things going on on that ship it just seems it, it seems really nice I would like to mm -hmm. I would like to check that ship out uh, of course it's it's a little pricey right now it's over in Alaska or it's doing Alaskan cruises so it's uh it may still be down down the way down the calendar yeah. for us but it the ship seems amazing. Yeah, we have to get on there. Plus, the godfather of that ship is Elvis Duran. Elvis, give me a call. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> do you guys know Elvis Duran? I love Duran? Elvis Duran. Every morning, Jenny listens to a New York radio station called Z100, and they are big cruisers on that show. And uh, yeah, they were some of the first people to jump on the bliss. So it's neat to be listening to pop radio mm -hmm. and hear people start cutting up about uh cruising. About cruising, yeah. yeah love it's pretty it. cool. All right, the third one on my list is the Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. Oh, yeah. I want to go on the Symphony of the Seas because it's the world's largest cruise ship. Biggest. I want to be able to say that I've been... And it's the newest of the Oasis class. Now, they're building a couple more, 
But uh, at the moment that we record this, the Symphony of the Seas is the largest cruise ship in the world and the newest of the Oasis class. They're also, they have the Broadway musical Hairspray, which mm-hmm. the cool thing about these Oasis class ships is they don't repeat the Broadway entertainment. So I you, love that. You get a different, you can, they really make it enticing to try the different ships, even though they're the same design because they, they switch up the entertainment. And one of the big ways they do that is with the Broadway show. So It'd be cool to see Hairspray on the world's largest cruise ship and uh, get to have that Oasis experience again. Symphony oh, of the yes. Seas, I want to I want to jump on it. Now, mm-hmm. we are going to try another Oasis class in 2021. That's right, February 7th. Yeah, in February 2021, we're going on the Harmony of the Seas. And guess what? You can go with us. It is a La Lita Loca group cruise. Uh, we're going to have a, a really good time. I'll leave a link in the description for our group cruise page if you want to go see where we're cruising together as a group with the local fam and uh, how to get to be a part of that if you want to check it out. Absolutely. All right, number four on my list is the Carnival Mardi Gras. Oh, yay. Two words, Emerald Lagasse. Oh, yeah. Can you give me three words, Emerald Lagasse? Bam! (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm excited that this is going to be the first ship in the XL class. They're going to go and do a zoning concept, which is very akin to the Oasis of the Seas neighborhood concept. Uh, they're going to have wonderful food. They are going to have an electronic roller coaster on the cruise ship. It'll be the first of its kind for cruising. It'll be super cool to see that innovation. Look, I'm a ship guy, but part of this one is the itinerary cruising out of the harbor there in New York, up the East Coast into Canada. I am so excited about this cruise that we have booked in September of 2020, and I'm looking forward to trying out the Mardi Gras. It's going to be pretty cool. Absolutely. And then my last ship is a little bit off the beaten path, so much so I might not be able to say it correctly, but it's by a company called Hertha Gruden. And uh, it is the Rold Almondson, which is named after the explorer that I believe made it to the South Pole in Antarctica. But this ship is a, a really new kind of concept in environmentally friendly cruising. It is a fully hybrid cruise ship. And it's all, it's all about going and exploring. It's an exploration ship. And so if you want to nerd out, you want to do some scientific exploration, the core part of the ship is the Science and Technology Center. They're going to take you to places like Antarctica where you can actually expedition as part of your cruising and become part of a scientific team doing scientific stuff. It sounds super nerdy. I think the ship sounds cool, and I wouldn't mind trying it out at some point in my life. 2021? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so that's Jenny's five favorite ships. Those are my five favorite ships. And again, the contest this week is just to tell us what one of your ships, not even our favorite ships, ships that we would like to go on to. And that's the contest. Tell us a ship that you would like to cruise on. Tell us a Norwegian ship you would like to cruise on. That way you can use the hashtags in on the same picture right again how you do it you can post it on your own facebook wall you can post it on your instagram feed you can post it on twitter just make sure that you use the hashtag norwegians summer fridays and use the hashtag loca summer fridays and that's the way we find a winner we uh put that hashtag in the social media we randomly pick which social media it is we put that hashtag in there and then we pick out a picture Again, last week the contest was show us your favorite cruise drink. And the winner for last week was... Drum rolls, please. This was from Instagram. It goes to Pink Kisses Bear. How about that? Pink Kisses Bear. Looking forward to enjoying a uh, mango meltdown on their next Norwegian cruise. I will reach out to you through Instagram and get your address and the shirt that you want. And we will get that shipped off to you. It made me want to have one of those mango drinks. It looks really good, right? Refreshing, yes. And so thanks so much. If you guys are interested in seeing what shirts we're giving away, I will leave a link to our Teespring store down there. You can check out the shirts. That way you have them in mind. Uh, Again, a lot in the description. Make sure you go check that out if you want to know the exact hashtags, if you want to see the rules for the Norwegian contest, all in the description below. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, all right, Jenny, I think we need to get off here and book some cruises. There's at least uh, a few cruise ships that uh, are on our list that we don't have booked, so we should should book a cruise or two. Let me get on that. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Thanks so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to La Lita Loca, join the Loca fam over on Facebook at the La Lita Loca Cruising Community. Again, my name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye.